Hi there, this is the Tech Thinker YouTube channel where we talk about interpretation, analytical interpretation, automation, and also process technologies. Now, what we're going to be talking about today are the nine best instrumentation technician books out there. It's great for the amateur instrumentation technician and also the well-tenured instrumentation technician. So let's go ahead and talk about these books. Now, the first book we're going to talk about is The Flow of Fluids Through Valves, Fittings, and Pipe. Now, this particular book is a great book. It's been around for a very long time. It's actually been around since the 1980s when it was published, and it's sparsely uh, the dates for published are ranging around the 80s. Um, I think that's the initial date, but nevertheless, this particular book has uh, very great information about flow of fluids, the physics of the fluids uh, taking place within these valves, also calculations and formulas, um, just really good information and very, very uh, specific um, details regarding uh, unit to unit conversions and etc. Great book, it's been around forever and it's a have to have book that people keep on the shelves throughout their lifetime. This next book here, uh, there's actually four of them uh, that I'm going to be showing. It's the NCCR Instrumentation Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, and Level 4. Now these books are sectionized. Uh, they actually have a whole bunch of data in them, ranging from gaskets, lubricants, here's the Level 2, um, Instrumentation Pipe Fitting, um, DCS, here's the Level 3, um, Geez, uh, transmitters, very specific information regarding uh, Ohm's law. Uh, also, uh, geez, uh, calculating uh, uh, resistors in series, res calculating resistors in parallel. This is level four. Um, you know, just combination circuits and how to calculate um, capacitance in series and parallel and etc. I mean, it's just a lot of detailed information. These four NCCR interpretation. Uh, books, the level one, the level two, level three, and level four, I highly recommend them, and you can keep them forever, just like the, uh, the, um, the crane manual I showed you, the very first red book I showed you out of the nine books, you know, these are just some amazing books. Um, we're going to move on to the next book here, we have the Dewey's Instrumentation Troubleshooting Handbook, another great book, it was published back in 2001, um, it's, it's pocket size, you can put in your breast pocket, back pocket, you know, or you just carry it around in your little pack. Um, it's just a great book in the sense that if you can't figure something out and you need something just to give you a different idea, you can pull it out and maybe you can troubleshoot it with the Dewey's Instrumentation Troubleshooting Handbook. So therefore, it just gives you another, you know, way to redirect you on possibly figuring something out. Uh, this is the Purdy's Instru Instrument Handbook. Uh, this is the Purdy's Instrument Handbook 1, I'd like to say. Uh, because there's a Purdy's Instrument Handbook 2 that I'll be speaking of in here in one second. Now this particular book was published back in 1996 and has had many revisions since. Um, it's a great book. Once again, it uh, has um, calculations for dry wet leg on your uh, transmitter, dip leg. Um, also, um, information about troubleshooting calculating uh, an open tank or a closed tank. Here's the Purdy's Instrument Handbook 2 that I was speaking of just a second ago. And this one as well has some information that overlaps with the other one, but overall it is a different book. And it has many details that uh, are beneficial, so I highly recommend this book as well. Um, also published around 1996 as well, both were launched around the same published date. Um, this is the Ugly Electrical References book. It has Ohm's Law, also has power equals current times voltage. Um, um, also it has transformers and their amperage ratings. Um, I mean, it has a range of data. It was also published in uh, 2017. Um, it's, it's a really great book. Uh, it's pocket size, once again. All these books, the last four books I've shown you, the uh, Dewey's Instrument, Instrument Troubleshooting Handbook, the Purdy's Instrument Handbook 1, Purdy's Instrument Handbook 2, and this Ugly's Electrical References book, all are pocket size, are very small, and very handy to have on hand. I hope this video did help you out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to thumbs up if this video did help you out, and I'll catch you on the next one.